Hello yogis, welcome to your mat. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to get started today in child's pose. Open up your knees nice and wide. Toes in, reach your arms forward. Rest your forehead gently on your mat. Rest your elbows. Feel your shoulders pull away from one another. Stretch across your back. And just determine the distance between your elbows. Make your adjustments, settle in, ground down. Find a sense of calm and presence. Begin to deepen your breathing. Use your full lung capacity to fill up, pull all the way up. And empty all the way out. Ujjayi breath in, seal your lips, breathe in through your nose. Ujjayi, exhale out of your nose. And begin to engage your shoulder muscles by lifting your elbows. Reach your arms super, super long. Keep lengthen your spine, pull your mat towards you. And really press the pads of your hands down and pull. Feel your shoulders separate. Squeeze your belly tight to keep it engaged. Keep that activation. Inhale, table top. Push up to your hands, straighten your arms, bring your legs into hip width distance. Squeeze your belly tight, find your breath. Find a long spine, straight arms, straight quads. Inhale, cow pose, push your belly downward, pull your elbows back towards you, softly bend, lift your chin away from your throat. Exhale, cat, squeeze your belly nice and tight, round your spine, pull your chin into your heart space. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Go back to a neutral flat spine. Flip your wrists forward. Press into the pads of your hands. I'm going to gently bring my hands a little bit closer to my quads because I'm feeling a little bit of tension. And press forward and back, stretch the forearms, the wrists. And if you'd like, you can rotate your hands so your wrists point in and circle it out. Switch directions. Flip your hands back around so your fingertips are pointing forward. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Pull your shoulder back towards your face. Find length as you reach. Exhale, thread the needle. Pull your arm through. Gently rest your forehead, rather the temple where your forehead connects and your shoulder. Take your arm nice and long. Once again, similar to child's pose, Pull the mat towards you with the palm of your hand. Feel the activation of your left shoulder. Half bind is here for you if you'd like to take that customization. Take the long arm, rather the left arm, that lengthened arm to the right hip. Open up your shoulder.
If you'd like even more, lift your left leg. Flex your foot. Find balance. To find balance, squeeze your belly tight. If you chose to extend the left leg, bend your knee. Bring your shin and knee back down. Take your left hand, press up. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, lift your left arm, switch it out. Pull your shoulder back to your face, twist deep. Exhale, thread the needle, slide your arm through. Come down to your temple, your shoulder. Take your right arm long, pull the mat towards you. Option to move into half bind. And the top of your right hand to your left hip, open up your shoulder. To work on a little bit of balancing, lift your right leg, flex your foot, lengthen it nice and long, stretch the Achilles, the calf, use your belly to hold this balancing posture. Return your right hand underneath your shoulder. Push up, inhale, lift your left arm. Exhale, tabletop. Take your hands forward, one to two hand prints. Inhale, high plank. Tuck your toes, lift your knees. Engage your belly muscles nice and tight. Good. Keep a tight core. Press into the balls of your feet. Shoot energy out of your heels to stretch the back side of the legs. One more breath in, exhale, downward facing dog. Adjust the distance between your feet and your wrist to keep that upside down V. Press your heart towards your thighs. Stretch it out, pedal it out. Find stillness in your down dog. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, ragdoll Uttanasana. Gently walk your feet up to the top edge of your mat. Take a wide position with your legs. Hang as heavy as you can. Feel your spine release and customize. Traditional ragdoll, grab opposite elbow, swing from knife edge of foot to knife edge of foot. Gently bounce up and down. Any other options that are calling to you, observe and move into those. If your hands are not already on your mat, release your hands or your fingertips. Move your feet inward towards one another. Inhale, slowly rise on up to a standing position. Exhale, equal standing pose, Samasthiti. Bring your hands to meet in front of your heart. Chin down towards your fingertips. Close your eyes. Take a moment for you. A moment for you to just ground down. Set intention for your practice, your commitment personal goal, something that resonates with you, something you hope to achieve during our time here together. Breathe it in and breathe it out. Two more. Nice breath in. Breathe in intention. Exhale, let it out. One more deep, full breath in. Biggest breath in. Exhale, release. And back to Ujjayi breath, if you'd like, release your arms by your sides. Blink your eyes open, fan out all 10 toes, grip your mat. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Reach your arms overhead. Knit your ribs in to feel your belly engage. Curve your tailbone under by squeezing your glutes. Spin your wrists to the back wall to engage your triceps. Big breath in. Exhale, standing forward fold. Meet your hands in the middle. Press your palms together, hinge at your hips, fold nice and heavy. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Lift your belly away from your thighs. Create a long flat spine from your crown through your sits bones. Hands can push into the front of your legs or hands can stay directly under your shoulders. Squeeze your belly. Deep breath in. Exhale, high plank. Take your hands to your mat, step your feet back. Slowly lower down to your belly or your knees, whichever you prefer. Bring your hands back towards you, one hand print. Inhale, push up to your hands, straighten your arms. Adjust the distance between your hands if needed. Find your breath, actively push your hips downward, hips and hip flexors down. Squeeze your booty to protect your lower back. Keep space between your clavicles, so relax your shoulders. Now begin to micro bend the elbows a little bit, pulling your elbows in to engage your biceps and upper arm muscles. Nice deep breath in. Stay for the exhale. Good, one more inhale. Exhale, slowly lower your belly down, chest down by bending your elbows. Take your hands forward, one hand print, tuck your toes, inhale, high plank. Use your arm, chest, and shoulder strength to push up. Exhale, downward facing dog. And let's flow. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold, step or hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lift your spine away from your quads. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Soften your shoulders, spin your wrist back. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. And bend your elbows lower down. Move your hands further back towards you, elbows and squeeze your biceps into your rib cage. Inhale, high cobra, push up, squeeze your glutes. Lift a little higher. And exhale, slowly lower down. Good. Move your hands up, tuck your toes. Inhale, high plank, push up. Exhale, downward facing dog. And breathe. And let's flow one more time. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, standing forward fold. Listen for the change. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left leg back. Wiggle your right foot forward to create more depth more space between your front heel and your back toes. Take your left hand to your mat, inhale, low lunge twist. Lift your right arm, stack your shoulders. Twist deep, breathe into your right side body. Squeeze your inner thighs in together. Feel the stretch across and along your IT band on the right. Actively press your heel back. Keep that stretch, hold your twist. Good, one more breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Take your right hand down. Inhale, look down at your foot. Exhale, forward fold. Step your left foot to meet your right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right leg back. Press actively into the ball of your right foot. Find your depth, adjust the distance between your feet. Take your right hand to your mat underneath your shoulder. Inhale, low lunge, twist to the left. Lift your left arm. Open up your heart, open up your chest. Notice your weight, press evenly into all four corners of your left foot and the inner and outer edge of your right foot, the ball of your foot. Twist deeper, breathe in. Stay for the exhale. Good, one more breath in. Exhale, low lunge, take your left hand down. Inhale, look down at your foot. Exhale, forward fold, step your right foot to meet your left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, bend your knees, reach your arms up to the ceiling, sink back into your glutes, find energy at your quads, and wiggle your feet in so your big toes are touching with a sliver of light between your heels. Breathe in. Exhale, prayer twist. Connect your hands, extend through the elbows, 
Sit deeper into your seat and twist to your right, keeping your knees even. Inner thighs hug in. Stack your elbows. Lift your gaze. Got to twist deep and breathe. Stay for the exhale. Yeah, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Reconnect your hands, sit deep. Twist to the left. Bring your right elbow to the opposite thigh. Stack your elbows, stack your shoulders. Check in with your knees. Very good. Keep your hips even. In that same plane. Twist and breathe. And breathe out. Good. One more inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Good work. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left leg back. Drop your knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Reach your arms up to the sky. Good. Bend your right knee as much as you can to stretch your left hip flexor. Soften your shoulders. Squeezing your belly and your glutes. One more inhale. Exhale, single arm vertical twist. Bring your left hand outside your knee. Take a nice big circle or peak of variation. Pull your right arm back. And then use the left hand to pull your inner thighs in towards one another. Hold stable, hold strong. Keep breathing. And inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, low lunge. Lift your knee. And inhale, look down to the left side of your mat. Exhale, prasarita. Wide-legged separate leg stretch. Rotate your feet so they're parallel. Hands can stay underneath your shoulders. Bringing the crown of your head closer to your mat or the ground. Or you can take your hands to your ankles and gently pull your belly in towards your inner thighs. Adjust the distance between your feet to really intensify the stretch. Work on weight distribution, maybe shifting forward and back. Maybe elbows come down to your mat. Try on some different options here. We'll be here for a little bit of time. A nice 30 second stretch. Bring your hands underneath your shoulder. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge to the front. And pivot your back foot, pivot both feet rather. Point all 10 toes forward. Inhale, look down at your right foot. Exhale, forward fold. Step your left foot to meet your right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right leg back. Drop your knee, your shin. Tuck your toes under to support the top of your foot. Inhale, crescent moon. Reach your arms up. Go deep into the lunge. Keep squeezing the booty, squeezing the inner thighs. Relax your shoulders. Go as deep as you can. Keep your hips squared and level. I'm going to take one more breath in. Exhale, single arm vertical twist. Bring your right hand outside your knee, circle back with your left arm, pull your hand back. Kind of use your right hand to pull your inner thighs in towards one another. Hold steady, hold strong. And just keep breathing and smile. It's just yoga. Now engage your left oblique as well when you twist. That's going to help hold you steady. Good. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, low lunge. Fingertips to your mat. Tuck your back toes under. Lift your knee. Inhale, look to the right side of your mat. Exhale, cross the meter or wide legged separate leg stretch. Parallel your feet. If you have sciatica, you can angle your toes in ever so slightly. 
customize. Stretch it out. Bring your hands to the ground directly underneath your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Pivot your feet. Inhale, look down at your foot. Exhale, forward fold. Take your right foot to meet your left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left leg back, we flow. Take your left hand down. Inhale, low lunge twist. Reach your right arm up. Exhale, low lunge. Right hand down. Inhale, look down at your foot. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right leg back. Take your right hand down. Inhale, low lunge twist. Lift your left arm. Exhale, low lunge. Look at your foot on your inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your toes to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. And inner thighs as well. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. We got Topo joining us. Exhale, prayer twist. Connect your hands, twist to your right. Inhale, chair. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Good. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Great job. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left lay back. Find your beautiful low lunge. Drop your knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, vertical twist to the right. Bring your right arm back. Good. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, low lunge. Lift your back knee. Inhale, look to the left. Exhale, cross to the back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge to the front. Now look down at your foot. Exhale, forward fold. Step your left foot to meet your right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right leg back. Drop your knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Lunge deep. Exhale, single arm twist to the left. Take your left arm back. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, look to the right. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge to the front. Inhale, look down at your foot. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Adding on. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left leg back. Stay high on the ball of your foot. Wiggle your right foot out so your feet are hip width distance apart. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Rise tall, strong. Bend your back knee to curve your tailbone under. Take a slight posterior tilt forward of your pelvic floor to keep energy in your belly. Squeeze your inner thighs together to hold stable. Breathe in. Stay for the exhale. Good, one more breath in. Exhale, revolve crescent. Straighten your back leg so that the back heel pushes down towards your mat. Connect your hands at heart center and twist to the right. You can stay or you can drop your back knee. And then lift a little bit away from your thigh so that you're using your leg muscles to lift rather than resting your belly on your right thigh. Good, inhale, crescent. Find your strength. Exhale, warrior two, open up, spin, open your back foot. Your back leg, keep it straight. Adjust the distance between your front heel and your back arch. Reach your arms out to the T towards the left of your space. Gaze past your front hand. Good, deep breath in. Stay for the exhale. And inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the bend in your right knee. Reach back with your right arm. Exhale, extended side angle. Put your top arm forward. 
Bring your elbow to your inner thigh, lift your back arm up, creating a beautiful line of energy from hand to hand. You can bend your bottom elbow, just rotate your shoulder back towards you. Top shoulder back, twist deep. Lengthen the left side. Keep breathing. Good job. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Good. Pivot your feet, especially, or rather, your back foot. Inhale, look down. Exhale, forward fold. Step your left foot to meet your right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right leg back. Good. Wiggle your left foot out just a little bit to keep your feet hip width distance apart. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Reach. Good. Stack your hands over your shoulders, square off your hips, pull that left hip back energetically or manually. Keep engagement at your lower belly, your inner thighs, squeeze your glutes, especially your right butt. Good, breathe in. Stay for the exhale. Good, one more inhale. Exhale, revolve crescent, bring hands to heart center, straighten your right knee, take a nice diagonal shape from your head to your hips and twist to the left. Good. Stack your elbows. Drop your back knee and shin if you'd like to customize. Lift away from your left quad. Yeah. Great work. Keep breathing. Doing awesome. Good. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Sometimes it's not perfect. Straighten your back leg. Put your arms outward. Envision a 90 degree bend in your front knee. Stay engaged at your biceps and triceps. Press evenly into both feet. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your left arm back. Slide your back hand down your thigh. Exhale, extended side angle. Take your top arm forward and down. Meet your elbow to your inner thigh or you can bend your elbow. Reach your back arm up. Go deeper into the bend if you feel like you can. If you feel like you can push a little further, a little harder. Good, inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge, pivot your back foot, point your right toes forward, inhale, look down at your foot. Exhale, forward fold, step your right foot to meet your left. Great job, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Good, hold your high plank. We have a 30 second plank hold. Feel your belly. Strengthen your belly, strengthen your shoulders. Stay engaged. We'll get a break after this, I promise. Do it amazing. Hold strong. Keep breathing. Awesome work for five, four, three, two. And one, come to your knees and shins. Have some water. Amazing. Okay. Nicely done. We have one more standing series together. And then we'll take more of a restorative approach, stretching out towards the end of class. Fabulous, fabulous job. Alrighty, downward facing dog in three, two, and one. Inhale, three-legged down dog, lift your right leg. Lead with your heel, exhale, bring your knee cross body to the opposite elbow. Inhale, falling start, extend your leg so you're on the outer edge of your right foot. Lift your left arm and then rotate your back foot so you're pressing into the inner arch. Lift your hip. Good, breathe in. Stay for the exhale. Good, one more breath in. Exhale, take your hand to your mat. Inhale, three-legged down dog, kick your right leg up. Exhale, runner's lunge. Step your right foot to the very top of your mat. Active runner's lunge today. Press evenly into both palms, shift forward and back. Keep your neck long. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck muscles.
but inhale, side plank to the right. Step your right leg back into high plank. Take your left hand to the middle of your mat. Rotate on the outer edge of your left foot. Reach your right arm up. Just lift your hips. Customize and take your layer. Stack or stagger the feet. Bend your bottom knee to ground it or lift your top leg. Good. One more inhale. Exhale, high plank to down dog. Adjust your hands and push back to down dog. Good. Catch your breath. Okay, other side. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Lift your left leg. Lead with your heel. Exhale. Bring your knee to the opposite elbow. But inhale, fall and start. Extend your left leg, your foot. Adjust your left hand. Reach your right arm up. Rotate your feet. Lift your hips. Retire through the top hand and arm. Good. One more inhale. Exhale. Take your right hand down. Inhale. Three-legged kick up. Exhale, runner's lunge. Step your left foot to the very top left corner of your mat. Active runner's lunge. We're not grounding the back knee. Good. Shift forward and back. How are those obliques doing? All the twisting. All the detoxifying effects. Strengthening of the obliques. Getting space in the thoracic spine, more flexibility, more mobility. Good. Inhale, three legged. Kick your left leg up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Great job. Really nice. All right. Drop down to your knees. Find the middle of your mat with your legs hip width distance. Stand up tall on your knees and shins. Bring your hands back to your lower back. Squeeze your elbows in. Inhale, look up. Exhale, camel. Push your hips forward. Lift out of your heart and shoulders. Squeeze your elbows in tighter. Keep breathing. Very good. Now straighten your neck. Bring your inner thighs to touch. Have a seat on your heels. If you have any pain in your knees, you can have a seat on your glutes. Hands to your quads. Relax. Deepen your breathing. Hardest part is done. Time for more, more of a restorative approach. Make your eyes open. Kick your legs off to either side of your mat. You have one last opportunity for water. We will be down on our spine for the duration of class. With your knees bent, push the soles of your feet down into your mat. Reach forward on your inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down to your spine. Butterfly out your knees for Supta Baddha Konasana. Recline bound angle pose. Press the soles of your feet together. Bring your heels as close to your glutes as you can. And you can rest your hands on your belly if you'd like, or next to you or overhead. And today in our hip stretching, we're going to add a little bit of mobility to our hips. So take your hands outside your thighs. Inhale, pull your knees into your chest. And exhale, release your feet to your mat hip width distance apart. Take your arms long. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, let both legs fall to the left. Like you're about to move into supine twist. Then inhale back to center. Exhale to the right for windshield wipers, and we'll just take that from side 
to the side. And then we'll hold to the right. And we'll hold to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, happy baby, flex your feet, bend your knees outside of your rib cage. Connect your index to pinky finger to the outside edges of your feet or the inside edges, whichever you prefer. And gently pull your feet to your knees and then feel your knees come towards you. Stay here or rock side to side to massage your spine. Inhale, pull your knees into your rib cage. Exhale, release both feet on your mat, hip width distance apart. Extend your arms nice and long. Bring your shoulders in towards one another. Inhale, bridge pose. Lift your hips. Breathe. Dig your heels into your mat. Pull your feet towards your glutes. Energize your hamstrings. Lift a little higher. Option to interlace your fingers, palms touching for a bind. One more inhale, exhale, release your bind, release your spine. And inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, supine figure four or any variation of it. I'm gonna stay right here and lay on one today. Just pushing my shin forward at the inside of my knee with my right hand. And you can take it up to whichever layer you prefer. We're stretching the outer glute and outer thigh. Inhale, lift your right leg. Ground the left foot down first if you chose that variation. Then lift your right leg. Exhale, release down. And inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, supine figure four. Take your ankle to your right quad. And your shin forward. And take the layer. Any layer to intensify the stretch. If you lifted your right foot, release it. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, release down. 
Yeah, inhale, pull your knees into your chest. Exhale, take your left leg long, keep your right knee as it is. Our final asana or twist before Shavasana. Inhale, half wind removing, squeeze your quad outside your rib cage. Exhale, supine twist, send your leg across your body while reaching your right arm long. Inhale, pull your knees back to your rib cage. Exhale, release your right leg long. Keep your left knee bent exactly as it is. Inhale, half wind way moving. Squeeze your thigh outside your rib cage. Exhale, supine twist. Send your leg across your body. Take your left arm long. Inhale, pull your knees into your chest. Exhale, wrap yourself in a hug. Tense up all your muscles. Squeeze nice and tight and breathe. Exhale, Shavasana. Gently release your legs. Nice and long. Lay your arms by your side, overhead or out in a vertical position. Ah, close your eyes if they're not already closed. Completely sink into your mat. Completely relax. Find your deep meditative breath to hold present, hold still, and completely surrender. All right, yogis, you can stay if you'd like, or you can move on with me. I can invite movements into your hands and fingers, wrists, toes, feet, ankles. Rotate your arms, your legs. Move your head from side to side. Oh. Move into a wall-to-wall -wall stretch if you'd like, or just take your time moving into it. I'm just going to hold right here. I'm utilizing this time to stretch out my belly. And just take your time. Take any other stretching movements, any other shapes with your body. 
And then roll onto your side for fetal pose or gently and slowly come up to a comfortable all seats. In the middle of your mat, with your eyes closed. Still completely present in this moment. Sit up tall and strong. And take your hands to heart center in prayer and gratitude. Lift your thumbs to your forehead. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me. Coming along on this amazing journey of yoga. I bow to you from my heart to yours. Namaste.